Hi everyone and welcome to Soul Food episode number four. Today I want to talk to you about stress, something we all have to deal with. Stress means pressure. It's a feeling of emotional or physical tension, usually caused by some event that makes us feel frustrated, angry, nervous, or even in danger. You know, a certain amount of stress is a normal part of life, but too much stress can be detrimental to our well-being. The first kind of stress is external stress. It comes from the outside of us, the world we live in, the people around us, the challenges and problems we have to negotiate, and the everyday circumstances of life. For most of us, there's a fair amount of external stress we have to negotiate, especially during this current COVID-19 global pandemic. But today I want to talk to you about internal stress. This refers to the stress we carry on the inside of us. You know, we all have different capacities when it comes to handling stress. Imagine you have 100 units of stress coping ability. That means you can handle up to 100 units of stress and you'll still be okay. Here's a simple diagram to illustrate. Yes, that's a picture of me back when my hair was bright red. In this example, as long as the stress in our life is 100 units or less, we can cope. But if it gets any higher, we're into dangerous territory. But imagine if we're using 80 of our stress coping ability units on internal stress. How much external stress can we handle? Not much, only 20 units. Have you ever seen a person where a little thing happens to them, something minor and they just lose it? And you think, what was up with that? I'd like to suggest to you that it wasn't the little thing. It was the fact that the little thing was one thing too many. It pushed them over the edge. And so where does internal stress come from? Good question. You know, there are many sources of internal stress. Today, I want to speak to you about one common one, unrealistic expectations. All of us carry unrealistic expectations about ourselves, about other people, and about life in general. And this creates stress on the inside of us. You know, I remember talking to a counselor once about my task addiction, and he asked me if I used the task list. I said, I sure do, and it's a really long one. He asked what I did when I finished the day and I hadn't completed all the tasks on my list. I said, I just simply transferred the task to the next step. We then explored how my unrealistic expectations about what I can accomplish in a given day often leaves me focused on what I haven't done rather than celebrating what I have done. I'll never forget him asking me what it would look like to only make a list of what I could realistically accomplish in a day. I remember becoming a leader of a church when I was quite young. And, you know, back then my expectation was that I'd be able to solve all of the problems in the church. But, you know, I found as soon as I worked through one issue or one challenge, another set of problems arrived at my doorstep the very next morning. I had to adjust my expectations to the fact that life is simply a series of challenges we have to continually work through. Well-known business consultant Jim Collins recommends that businesses set five new goals for each new year or new season and decide to stop doing five things. The fact is that most businesses and organizations only add more and more and more and they never stop doing things, creating all sorts of unrealistic expectations that often are impossible to achieve. And so what about you? Do you have any unrealistic expectations? Do you always expect to have it together, to never fail, to never make a mistake? Do you expect everyone to like you, people to always be nice and everyone to think just like you do? Do you expect every item on your shopping list to be in stock at the store, the sun to always shine, nothing to ever break and COVID-19 to be over next weekend? Unrealistic expectations create stress on the inside of us and limit our ability to handle the inevitable external stresses that come our way. What would it look like for you to adjust your expectations, to embrace some reality thinking? Let's recap our main points. Firstly, internal stress refers to the subtle and dangerous stress we carry on the inside of us. Secondly, unrealistic expectations are a major source of internal stress. Thirdly, by embracing more realistic expectations about ourselves, other people, and life in general, we reduce our internal stress. That's all for today. Once again, I'd love to hear some comments back from you and why not talk about this area of internal stress with your family and friends today. This has been Soul Food with Mark Connor. See you next week as we continue talking about dealing with internal stress. See you then.